So today we're going to be looking at Amazon AWS S3, which is the simple storage solution service, whatever. It, it's where you store files on Amazon. Um, so I've got a bucket that you make, and in this bucket called SQB Sample 2018, I've got two folders, and in these folders I've got pictures of my dog. And I've got folder one, and I've got folder two, so I've got it nice and organized. We are in the U.S. East um, region for AWS, okay? Prerequisite to this tutorial is that you've gotten your access key in secret from AWS before you get started. So what we've done, and I've actually already got those stored in a config.json file, because I'm not going to show you them, but uh, that I'm, that I'm going to bring in these files sort of from a separate place. So to get started, um, we're going to need the node AWS SDK uh, thing. I normally don't like SDKs, uh, different topic, different time, but AWS is huge, and Amazon makes terrible APIs. So I recommend whenever a API is terrible, a uh, an SDK is welcome. So uh, let's do an npm i. It's called AWS SDK is what we want. So let's let that go. While that's installing, let's just say const AWS equals require uh, AWS SDK. And then we also want to bring in that config file. So we just say const config equals require. Uh, dot slash config and that'll bring in the config file and probably want to do dot json here okay so that's that um as always let's go ahead and do our async await so we will do async function boom and throw a try catch in here console.log our error e no e Okay, cool. Awesome. All right, so let's get started. So we need to configure um, AWS with our credentials. Um, so it's aws.config, it's called, .config um, update, And then we want to pass it to things, which is the access key ID. Oh, you can see VS Code is uh, filling these in for me. Cool. For us, it's config.aws.accesskey is what it is. And then uh, secret access key, thank you, VS Code, is config.aws.secretkey. And then a third thing we have to give it is the region. And I, like I said, we're in US East. That's called US East-1. Make sure you're in the right region when you're doing this. Um, cool. And then we are going to pass, we're going to tell it we're going to be using promises uh, because it does support promises, although it's a little weird. You'll see in a second. But I have to do aws.config.set promise dependency. I got to set that first in order for, uh, for what I'm about to do in a minute to work with the promises. So we need to now make a new instance of the S3 part. So const s3 equals new aws dot capital S3. You'll, you'll notice a pattern for capital letters from Amazon. They love their capital letters for some reason. So that's that. So now we actually have to go. This is the part where we're actually going to go to S3 and make the call. So we're going to say const response equals uh, await. And then we're going to say it's at, the method is s3 s3 dot list objects v2. Okay. List objects is the old one. List objects v2 is the new one. So I'm going to do list objects v2, and that takes things. VS Code is trying to help me out, but it's not being helpful. So we're just going to escape it. So we need a bucket, capital B, bucket, capital letters. Amazon loves their capital letters. Um, SQB sample 2018, 2018. Okay, and then let's see what we got. So console.log response. Save and F5 to run it. Uh, there's our request. I can't open it for some reason, and that is because uh, the script has ended. So in the VS Code debugger, if I want to look at that response, I can just write debugger before the code is over, rerun it. It'll stop before the script is over, allowing me to get in here. There we go. Um, response, and this looks like a, 
This doesn't look like the response from S3. Well, it does say operation. Let's see. It should be contents. It says null here. Ah, right, the weirdness. I didn't tell you about the weirdness. This is the raw request. We need to promiseify it. So you can, after you list objects v2, you can call dot promise, and this will return a promise, not something that needs to be in a callback. So now that I've done that, now I can refresh this, let it run, and here's my object. There we go. This looks better now. And there's contents, and you can see that there's eight objects in here. Now, you might be concerned, like I was when I first saw this, why are there eight objects in here? If you look back at the bucket, there's only two objects in here, folder one and folder two. But if you look at the bucket contents returned from Amazon, all eight files are here. You know why this is? This is because for some stupid reason, everything in a bucket is all a single file. The folders literally do nothing. They, they do nothing. Putting it in folders is almost useless. There's a, a bit of a way to use them. I'll show you in a second. But every single object in here is, is here. And you can see the key is folder one slash and folder, folder one slash and folder two slash. So there you go. The, the folders themselves are objects and the files themselves are objects, and they're all at the same level. So thanks, Amazon. Really stupid. Anyway, so what we can do here to make this a little bit easier on ourselves, they have a way to return just with a prefix. So let's say we want to get everything in the folder one folder. We can actually pass it a prefix here. And of course, Amazon loves our capital letters, so it's prefix. And then you can say folder one. And now when I run it, it's only going to return me the contents of that folder. Okay, so that's how you can sort of replicate what we were trying to do, which is list the contents of those folders. And so here you can see here's everything in the folder one folder, including, don't forget, the folder itself. Um, there's nothing unique about this that tells it it's a folder other than the fact that it ends with a slash. And if you look at the files, they generally don't end with the slash. So that's kind of the only way that you know that this is a folder and these aren't a folder. But that's, sorry for my disdain for Amazon here, but you know what, it is what it is. So anyway, there you go. That is, uh, that is how you list objects with S3 and Amazon.